well, James, um, my understanding is that if we want to stop violence happening in the home, particularly with um, violence against women, then it's really important that young people uh, learn to respect each other and to have positive relationships. And I reckon that's modelled a lot on their parents and on the role models in the community, like we're counsellors, it's important that we show respect for each other. Um, and like I, do you know, do you agree with, with that idea? I think that that's a uh, long-term solution. I think it, it's something that has a lasting effect if we have those um, relationships where we respect each other. Yeah. I think the way to tackle, mm -hmm. the way we tackle violence in our community, especially violence against women, um, I think is one of the things we should judge ourselves on. And yeah. anything we can do to improve that, I think is an asset. And yeah. I think that's a great start. If, if, if kids see us acting appropriately towards each other, that's yeah. what they learn from. They learn from what they see rather than what they're told. Yeah. So yeah, great. And I reckon one of the things that I've learned over my lifetime, like I'm in my 50s now, but I remember as a young girl, like that, you know, boys often were not respectful and, and girls weren't even respectful of each other. Like I think my kids are much better at that than my generation was. So there was a lot of like sexist jokes and sexist comments and whereas my kids have learned not to do that. Like and it's not maybe because we've all kind of women have come out and said we don't like that kind of stuff anymore. But I also think most of the men I know now know not to do that. Like they've really it's really changed the culture and we want that to happen more with kids, you know, that they know that it's it's actually not fun to always comment on how girls look or to make fun of them or to talk about them sexually and that that's sort of what that's what a girl is about because it isn't, you know, and and so I think that's changed. I think it's a really great thing to see that that's changed. No, I think that's where role, model, role models come in. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it was all that sort of talk was certainly unacceptable to my mother and she's, you know, yes. She ruled the rooster a fair bit, and, yeah. and my wife's a very strong person, my daughter's a very strong person. And so I think yeah. um, giving, empowering women amongst you to have that strength, I think is fantastic. Yeah. And letting them know it's acceptable to say, you know, that's wrong, you can't say that. Yeah. So I think, I think that's changing attitudes as much as anything, yeah, which is yeah. great. And also men pulling up other men. I reckon yeah. that's happening more. Boys, like I know um, my son is sort of 19 now, but his peer group of boys, they, they are respectful towards women. And if they see someone who's been, you know, really giving a, a girl a hard time, like they'll tell them to cut it out. And I think, wow, I wish kids had done that when I was a kid, because they didn't, <laughs> but yeah. not much. So I've seen that, and men, just in general, if we work well together, treat each other as, you know, the way we would like to be treated, then it just cuts out all of that stuff. And I, and I think, where it where it gets where it's still happening and it does still happen of course that it gets called out and especially when other men call out other men or boys call out other boys I think that's great. I think we've moved a long way. Yeah. From so even twenty years ago we've moved a long way. Yeah. I think we still have to move a yep. fair distance now. We still have to just to be respectful. I mean you don't have to hit targets or whatever. Just just a simple respect for each other, man, woman, child, whoever it is, people in a relationship, whether you're working with them. Um, whether you're being social or whatever, it's not a hard thing to do. Right? Yeah, I agree. I, and I think the more we just expect it, that's the other thing. Girls have a right to expect to be treated decently um, and not put up with it if they're not being treated decently and be able to say, you know, not necessarily to someone who's giving them a hard time, but to, to people around them who they've got a right to be protected, they've got a right to ask for that and um, to feel that they can, you know, and that it's okay to say to your own peer group or your teachers or your parents, you know, I don't like the way this is happening, I don't like the way I've been treated, um, and not get picked on for that. But, you know, that's, that's really important. I think it is, and I think that people participate more in, in society if they feel more comfortable in that society. Yeah. So I think, you know, if you've got 50% of the population that doesn't feel as comfortable as what they should, then we're less for it, where if they feel comfortable, put their point of view over or have their say, um, I think society's going to be better off for it. Yeah.